Welcome to Mini Woodward. It took me roughly two and a half weeks to get this prepared for a very special event we like to call Woodward Dream Cruise. Here in Michigan, very, very popular, probably one of the most popular car events in the whole entire world. 1.6 million people participate at this event every year. Not only the event has a lot of people when the day comes, but I don't think anybody else has ever done it. So I wanted to do it. This camera isn't the best, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how I can record like little skits or uh, stop animations, as you would call it. I'm gonna see if I can make it look good or not and see if anybody likes it. I just wanna sit here and explain pretty much everything that goes in depth with this and how it's gonna be. Uh, first, I would like to let everybody know what is on the board so that way you would know exactly like the spots that Woodward mainly consists of obviously this board isn't exactly like Woodward but it really really simulates what Woodward has so right here I decided to put a Culvert's uh, restaurant everybody knows what Culvert's is I'm pretty sure and people that don't I'm pretty sure you've seen on the internet or whatever you got a little drive through. Um, you take the order right there. You see a little Hummer taking the order. And then you have the window to get the food and everything. And then right next to it, we have the very infamous Shell gas station. This is like the headquarters of Woodward. This is where everybody meets up. Everybody to go to this gas station. Maybe not everybody likes the gas station, but everybody goes to it. You will see. Every single car at the Shell gas station most likely is one of the most popular spots on Woodward, apart from the Palestiners uh, hobby shop, which I'm also gonna get to that because I added a little part to that as well. But we're gonna get to that side in a minute because it's on the other side. But this is the Shell gas station. I just have it, um, everything set up. Uh, I don't really have a plan of how I'm gonna make a video yet. I just have it set up just so everybody can see how it looks in form, like in um, in action, basically. So you know, we got a couple scat packs, Hellcats, Mustangs, 400Z right there with the hood popped open, C7 Corvette. You know, you got some, you got Prelude over there, 350. You know, you got some nice cars that just pulled up and just met up and chilled there. Obviously, this isn't exactly like how the Shell gas station is, because everybody knows that the Shell gas station's parking lot is like this, but I put it like this. So, cause it made it look, it made it fit a little bit better. And plus it looks more clean. Um, this is a side street. Obviously you can go in the street and um, this is, this is just a little side street though. So this isn't your street to be racing on, do any craziness. Obviously there's gonna be people that do that. Cause you know, this is the car scene. This replicates the car scene. So we're gonna be doing all of that. Um, I do have a lot of police cars. I need to get a lot more. Um, there may be police chases and whatnot, so that's going to be an uh, addition. And then over here you have, I'm also not completely done with this board yet. I still have to put some of these um, these down right here. I'm not sure what to call them. I think they're built pillars or whatever. I have to put those down, so that's not done just yet. Um, but it's basically the gist of is done. I know some parts of the road may be a little raggy like this right here. Or you know you have may have cracks in the road, but that's just how Woodward is in real life. It has some cracks and you know stuff in the road. To uh, the next part, which is right next to the Shell gas station, as you can see they're having their little car meet up over there. Looks real nice and official, you know. I love this area. I actually really like how it's set up. Um, I didn't fully think 
of how I was going to do this, it kind of just came to mind and I just put put it to use basically. And you see you got the rocks and the gravel and stuff right there. It's, it's nice little details, you know. I still have a lot more stuff that I can use to even liven up the board even more, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as is for right now. And if y'all have any suggestions, I'm probably gonna take it into consideration and probably add to the board to make it even better because I'm pretty sure y'all have ideas as well. So I will put that into consideration. Um, we also gonna have some more boards. As you can see right here, there's gonna be some uh, expansions to this map. I still don't know what I'm gonna do exactly yet though. So we're just gonna leave those there. Uh, you see that right here, I got the supplies and everything ready for the next boards that I'm gonna be building. This is all the Hot Wheels. That's box one, box two, and box three. But going back to the board, we have a nice little car wash right here. As you can see, this Focus RS is cleaning his car up, <clears throat> getting it ready for whatever he's about to do. Um, then you got the inside of the car wash, as you can see inside of there. Again, this camera isn't the best. It doesn't focus in like I wanted to, but you know, it's not the worst camera. It's definitely got good quality, so it's, it's a decent camera. Um, then you got the parking lot over here. This is a nice parking lot. I think it's like five, six lots. You can park some cars right there. Probably have a little car meetup right there. You can park on the side as well. This could be a nice little hangout spot for you, you and your friends. Um, yes, also, if y'all have like special cars that you have and I may have it as a Hot Wheels, let me know because I can put you somewhere on this board if you have that car. Um, I know some people, some people's cars that I've seen in real life, I have them as a Hot Wheels, which is really funny and a coincidence, but yeah. Moving on to the next thing, we have Dairy Queen right here, Grill and Chill. Obviously, you gotta have a nice little ice cream joint, you know, it's for a nice sunny day or or you know, you're just hot. You wanna go get something to cool yourself off. Get in, uh, go to Dairy Queen here, that nice little drive through. Uh, you got the windows, and then you got the nice parking lot. Once again, you could put like you could fit like five or six cars right there. Nice little meetup spot for everybody. So this is the right hand side of Woodward Af Avenue. You have the turnaround points right there. Just in case if you want to turn around and go to one of those uh, areas on the side or if you missed a turn, you can turn around right there, you know, just like what we're having, obviously. And now if we make our way to the other side, we're going to start with this barber shop. Uh, this barber shop right here, I'm not exactly sure where this is on Woodward, but Woodward definitely has a barber shop. So I decided to put it on this side of the map. Because I think it will fit best. And it actually does. It fits very well. You know, you got the tree. Not the tree, but you got the grass right there. Uh, this little view right here of the cars coming down this way. And the cars leaving that way. You got the big median. It's a very nice setup here. Now, everybody might like it, but that's fine. I'm cool with that. And you got a little motel right here. I can't put my camera down too much because I have my... Um, my uh, tripod I'm holding on to. And then over here, we have an auto zone. Obviously, you gotta have an auto zone on a map that consists of cars because what if a car has a problem, an issue, or it breaks down, or you need a spark plug? So I had a auto zone because I thought it would be a very good addition, and I'm pretty sure it is. Moving on, we're gonna skip the next building for one second. And we're going to come over here to this cafe. So this cafe right here is a custom building. It's a lot of car meat spots and a lot of chilling spots on this map. And that was the main goal for this map. So, all right. So moving on to the final spot of this map we have. It's going to be kind of hard because, again, my tripod. But, uh... You have this, like, I'm not really going to call it a strip mall, but it's like uh, the buildings that are on the side. Obviously, the people that go to Woodward every single day of the freaking year are going to know what this uh, is. But I don't have necessarily Palestiners at the beginning. It's a Dollar Tree, but uh, we pretend like it's Palestiners. 
But we got the little area right there. I can zoom in to show you more. But obviously right here, you can fit a lot of cars right there. Actually, I think you fit like eight to nine cars on that side. So again, when I, once I fill this board up completely, everybody, it like everything is gonna match up and y'all gonna be like, dang, okay, I know this spot, I know that spot. You don't really tell too many spots right now because they're not filled. But when I fill them up, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I know exactly what spot that is. And that is sweet. But we have that as well. We got some cracks in a row. I had to implement that. I actually used an exacto knife and cut uh, some holes or uh, scraped up the paper to make some uh, cracks and bumps to make the more to make the roll more realistic. Thought that would be a cool touch, but yeah. So this is basically the Woodward map. I'm planning on doing a lot to this map. Um, I have so many cars. Um, I think I have roughly a thousand plus cars to put on this board, and I don't think none of them are gonna fit. So. Heck, this is only like, I think this is a little under a hundred cars right here, and they can, and you can already can see how live the board already is. This is pretty live, so we're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm gonna try to do some uh, cinematics or stop motion videos. It's gonna be really tough because I gotta get back into it. I haven't did it in a long time, and the old ones I've did, they weren't the best, but they was pretty decent for what I had at the time. But now that I have a bigger setup, better cameras and all that, I'm going to try to implement this very well. So I will see y'all when I do that. I need a nice thumbnail, so let me take a good thumbnail picture. 